Okay, we got our parts all cleaned up. So I got the generator all cleaned up. So we're gonna go ahead and blast this thing and see if we're gonna use it or not. I'll see if we can get these fuel coils out. We'll show you how to do that in a couple minutes here. So these are the rocker studs here. Where's that one I told you was all screwed up? See this Helen? What's the difference between those two? Uh, well, it's completely worn out for one. Shoulder's gone. It wore the shoulder off. Is this? Oh yeah, it sure did. Look at that. Completely gone. Yeah, remember, you had the fork was all bent. Just tore it right so off. It put a big side load on it. Broke the whole you, you washer right the, off. Broke the. Ate the thing all the way. I've never yeah. seen that done before. Huh. This is what's left of dampener after we got it out. That's how the Canadians do it there, so Keenan. We'll keep that for sentimental purposes, I guess. Okay, this is dampener. Okay, this stuff we're gonna in the oven and cook it. This we're gonna blast. I have to get our blasting bag in. This has got to be blasted. These nuts are worth keeping too. These work for top motor mount and a couple other places on the bike. So we'll clean those up and keep them. The rest of the stuff we're replacing all of this stuff here. And this washer, we gotta make sure you don't lose that. But. Okay, so this is all gonna clean. All right, so what do we got here? These here, we're gonna probably have to regrind them a little bit in the radius, because they're a little bit of a flat spots going in there. See the light reflecting a little bit differently, maybe. I'm not sure. All right, so we got to clean all that up. These here are junk. We got all new stuff for this. There's another one. Okay, this here, we're going to just blast these. They're good to go. I'm going to throw these two pieces in the, three piece in the oven. So we're going to be cooking our uh, paint off. Looks like we're up to 445 right now. It's just starting to get a little smoky in here. There you go. So that's going to get blown, cleaned up. I'm going to stick this horn cover in there toward the ends because this is just uh, uh, brass usually. So I just want to get the paint to melt off a little bit but not do any damage to it. So we'll leave that until the end. I got to set it six something so it'll go about 700 degrees before it shuts off. That'll be enough to melt all the paint off, or at least most of it, get it softened up. And then we'll come back and uh, show you what that looks like in a minute. Scooby's watching too. He's helping. So, all right. So you're gonna figure out how you're gonna work on these. Um, if you think that it's worth rebuilding, well, I can see a thousand dollar bill right there. Well, you know, you're you're worth it. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. Either way, to get the part, we can get these screws out of here. That shouldn't be too tough. Shouldn't be too tough? Oh, right. well, that's what we said. Yeah, that's what he says all yeah. the time. All right, we're going to go see if we can do that or not. We'll figure it out. She got new generator parts. Oh, shit. Look at you. Here is a 32E. Look at that shit. Here's a dash 61. I've been crying all evening since we looked at that. Here's a dash 58. Let's see the field coils in there. 58 TA. 58 field coils. Here's some American made ones. Dog, you're something else. You got a hell of an owner here. Look at Mutt. He's awful friendly. You either like him or you don't. And now we gotta see what we can do and not do here. Okay, grab the armature there. Oh, yeah, no Add more eBay junk. Put my nail. So you can take it home and read about how to be a machinist. Yeah. Guy even looks like you. Yeah, right. My arm you dumbass. Okay, this is 6 volt 32E. This is 6 volt dash 61. This one's a junk one. It was made some time ago. 
What price would you like? They kept crossing out. They put 12 volt out because they were dumbass with a 6 volt and 61. Okay, this is a 58 armature here. They all look more, oh, I see, except for the ends. What's I see in both ends, actually. What's the difference between a 58 and a 61? This is the one for my application, I'm guessing. E. Well, the first thing you notice, we're not going to be able to bolt a later armature in your motor very easily. I think that's out. Okay. That little gear goes on this end, does it not? Yeah, well, so we know they're missing With something. the pin, yeah. This part here is the same here. It's shortened up that much. Gotcha. Threads are not supposed to be there, but the thing is, trying to support your other in your armature, we don't have anything to hold it. Right. Keep it flopping. I know they used to rewind these for two brush application back in the old days. What benefit do you get from two brush to three brush? Two brush puts power out all the time. Okay. Versus a uh, three brush, you only got the lights come on when you flip the switch on. You get a little extra power. Do you want to get your phone? Not really. Okay. Was it something important? Well, could be a big job coming in. Look at that. Well, these are 58 American made. Hello. These are 58 Eagle Iron. I didn't answer fast enough. They didn't leave a message either. They didn't the last time either. It's not important then. Okay, so these are American made. These are Taiwan made. Not much difference? Well, except for the cloth wiring. I'm sure they both check out okay. Maybe. Maybe can tell. Keep in mind, Mr. Tatro ha has all this stuff on the shelf. Yep. Somebody's stupid enough to own all this crap. Might need it one day, right? Well, this the day is today. Tomorrow. Well, I don't know how many guys walk through here with a 45. Okay, there's a piece of crap on there. These are three brushes, see. These are two brush. generator. No, nope. store the motor parts. Alright, so this is a 32E 6 volt. India parts. Great stuff. If it's from India, does that mean kids and children assemble it? Usually children. Could be terrorists if we're not. They only use <laughs> This might be contaminated. It might be nuclear waste. And no. It'll irradiate me. Look at that. They must have wanted to protect that. Boy, that's pretty nice, though. This is interesting. Well, it's different how they're made, but definitely different in shoulder height. That could be a slight issue there. Doesn't look like it's all that much longer on this end, and we know it's cut. Looks like it's almost the same height. Well, this is mine, this isn't yours, that's why. Being a dumbass. So, there's this washer must come off. Looks like they try to get it off, one come off. So, we got another one. You just unwrapped this, this isn't mine. No, this is the uh, one, it wasn't a shelf, was oh, it? Oh, yeah, right, right. You okay, said these? these are 58. So these go with that one. Where's the other one at? What the hell that price is? Six volt model 52, three brush. The only problem is model 52 is a K model generator, it's a two brush. 
1995, or is that 1,900? I can add some more zeros. <laughs> Couldn't vouch for the, quality, the price being the same. Yeah, it, there is a price differentiation. Look at the size between these and these. Yeah. Big bastards are different. I used to have some uh, 32E on the field clothes later than I thought, but I'm not seeing them. These are model 58, since I'm in a pair of those. Some other brand. Could be Harley, could be someone else's, don't know. I don't see any, uh, what I'm looking for, I don't see. I got the regulators to go with those. Here's Excel steel coils. They don't make those anymore. There's some more 58 fuel coils. They're getting bigger. Hey, I was going to ask you because the, uh, the watching public is going to want to know how many acres under roof do we have here in the parts department at Tatro Machine? Oh, I haven't got it. Yeah, I found, those, I found the field clothes I'm looking for. Okay. It's more than a football field, that's all I could say. You got a small field coil? It just goes back there for miles. Yeah, sure it does. Okay. You just think it does. You see it dark back there, folks? That's a cavern back there. Okay, here's some uh, India field coils that go with that India armature. Look how small those are. I don't really understand the function of those. This rotates inside of these. Yes, sir. And it makes electricity. In the, in the DC format. And then it uh, gets regulated into your battery to keep it up and charge. So the voltage regulator tells it when to How come on. That a simplification for you. Well, that well that explained it. I appreciate it. Like I said, I've never been into one of these before. I'm sure lots of people haven't. Now I've we, seen inside of them. Now we know your armatures are bad, but I mean, your armatures. Yeah, are and the field. Coil. So basically, all I've got is a housing and used brushes at this point. That's right. And the gear on the end. That's and that's junk too. And the guy on YouTube <laughs> wanted me to convert these up to uh, a two brush. <laughs> <coughs> six volt to keep your old housing so I want to see if you can actually put in a later model two brush parts but I don't see why you probably couldn't do it I'd have to make a bushing to support this or a bearing see 58 had a bearing because that is a bearing one had a bushing on them I yeah think. and it looks like these might be different sizes possibly I haven't seen a difference here in the two yet, so maybe the difference is up in the top. This is a half inch in diameter. There you go. Twelve thou bigger. So that's the difference between a 58 and a 61. That's twelve thou bigger than this one. When you say 58, 61, is that year vintage? For the year model of bike. Yeah, this fits 58. Oh, okay. On well, the that's top what... of your generator, it says what it is. Okay. So a 32E has a 30, has a 32. Uh, came okay. Out. I'm just wondering. 58 came out in 58. The 61 came out in 61. All right. These say they're for a model 52. That means that's 52 on the top of the generator. Okay. So. I'm just, I'm just curious. Somebody would so want to know. This is going to be a. This is not a three brush like it's marked. This is a two brush. If it's model 52, it's, it's going to be a three, uh, two brush generator. I don't care what the hell they mark the tag. So you go into your parts books and it'll tell you all these different things. So I couldn't, I didn't know what the difference between a 58 and a 61 was because it looked the same to me. The difference is this 12 thou difference on up here. Because mm -hmm. one takes a needle bearing and one takes a bushing. Okay. So that's the difference on that. Not a major change. Now if we took your generator and tried to put this armature in it, Having the nut out here would hold it into the into the housing, whereas on this one here it was in between two bearings. I understand. It had the in play in it. 
This one here, there's no end plate. It just ties up here and it locks it in solid. And then this end just carries the weight. It just carries the load. Yeah, I gotcha. So whether I can put uh, a 58 setup into your, your or this one, whichever one, doesn't matter. We can either size. You know, I'd have to make a, a support for doing that. Now your ball bearing is a smaller diameter bearing here, but there might be a conversion bearing to make it work. So this is a, ball bearings are easy in metric. So this is see that's uh, uh, 28 under zero. Mm -hmm. There's a roughly 40 thou difference between one millimeter. So if you add 40 to 30, you get 110. So that'd be this one, 112. See, so it's metric size. Just off the top of your head. Hmm. This one here is a half inch even. That's a bushing size. That, that's definitely one's in a bushing. So we can take the, we might be able to take this 58A armature, stick it into your early bike and make it work. The nut here would probably go down inside of your, your thrust, your, uh, oh, your breather mechanism. Just like it does on a Sporster. It would stick down inside the hole. It shouldn't matter. So. But the disadvantage of this is you're going to have to run an external relay on, or not a relay, but a, a regulator. Which is what what was on it. You no, know, you got a cutout relay. A cutout relay is only about this. Oh big. yeah, the little regulator is this big. Oh yeah, okay. Well, all right, I understand. So there's a big difference in size of the components. Now, if you run a little small battery in your battery box, you can actually put the regulator inside the battery box underneath and hide it and make it work that way. It's one way of doing it. You can run some kind of a solid state thing in between and pray they don't blow up like they usually do. They usually melt themselves. So there's a lot of different options. Or you can just put it back to stock and put the stock stuff in like I do on my bike and I'll worry okay. about it. Okay, and it works. You don't, All right. need, you don't need that much juice to make it work. That bike there has a stock 32E generator in it with all new guts and he went all the way across the nation with no problem. Yeah, and back, yeah. And back. Worked yeah. just fine. Okay. So you no, rebuilt his here also? He did his own generator. Oh, okay. He had it down here. We're looking at it and making sure he was doing it right. Well, I'm going to have uh, the head honcho here at Tetro do mine. Yeah, otherwise, we pull out our uh, cycle electric down here, which I think is too far, too big to fit into a 45. It's too stinking long. But we considered it. Yeah, you can consider a lot of stuff. It's pretty damn long because this regular sticks out here and sticks way the hell out in the wind. So it's a little different. And what application would that be before for Panhead, huh? The Fritz and Big Twin's fine. So we wanted to put the cover over it to hide the fact what it was, but it, it's so close to the rocker clutch and we don't know if it'd fit. But, uh, but whatever, we have lots of decisions to make. I think we got to do them tonight. Okay. Or you can hunt around for a wee wired 32E armature. They rewire them. Harley went to that design because they didn't like rel cut out relays, but whatever. My old bikes, I run the 32Es, they work fine. Okay. You know, if you just got a headlight and a taillight, it works. That's all. You wouldn't be riding it much at night anyways. Yeah. Not too often. Yeah. Either way, the headlight is, is powered by the darn generator anyway, so it's not a problem. Okay. But anyway, there's your options, so we'll figure it out. We can even rebuild it. Put a different one on it. Do something. All right. Well, it'll be up to you. Lots of different pieces. Nice. We've got a bunch of parts to choose from. Nice. Some of them are even worth money. Okay. It says right here it's worth. This one's $159.95. Yeah. Do you like that one? Well, you'll be adding more zeros to it. Now, what's this one got on it? <laughs> this one's probably got $29.95 written on there or something. This one, they didn't write a price on it. I wonder what year they put that price on. I don't have a clue. Leonard Andrews was still alive then. Probably was. Yeah. yeah. When he won the number one back in, what, the 30s or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was in the 50s. Brad Andrews, what, he was in there in the 60s, 70s, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. But they both had number one. They both oh, yeah. were number one. They both went fast. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. All right. Thanks. Okay, Tetro's setting up for the next project here. It's a generator field coil removing tool. Generator field coil removing tool. Right, you can get these at Harbor Freight for like $9.99. Yeah, right.
Look at that. Look at that just laying in that little valley. Just absolutely cute. So the secret on these is you have to put pressure on them to make them work. Did you make this big just for that? You put a little bit of pressure on it to hold the screwdriver bit in there. Turning. Breaks it free. Boy, that's just as nice as you please. Look at that. That's almost as good as that tool you said that you saw at the generator shop. Well. That nobody in the world has. You're right. But I have seen it. But I see there's... I haven't seen it, but I heard what it was. There's other ways to skin a cat, and we do that here at Tetro's. We skin cats, too. But when you put them together, you need to have a tool like this to compress them because these things are so stinking tight. You're never what, get the, uh, the screws, yeah. Yeah, you have to compress the field coil so much. Wow, look at that. I don't think these were all that tight to begin with. I don't think so either. But you get the idea. All right. So that's how you get those out of there. I just want to get a better view here. Well, you could just move your seat or stand up. Look at that nasty looking thing. Yeah, plenty of oil soaked. Cheaper. Didn't say that. You said uh, I didn't know parts were available. How would I know? Yeah, those are ugly. They look original though. Probably are. So once again, it's an early generator because it's got the riveted plate with a with a felt in here. I'm sure that felt is still good. So 44 is when they changed that out. So as long as you see those rivets back there, you know it's 44 and earlier. At least 43 and earlier. These appear to be in there pretty good. Did you hear that when it came free? Yeah. So those are nice and dirty. So we'll take those to be blasted in the blast pile. You can see how they've never ever been rubbed by the armature. And these go in your junk pile. We haven't got that pile yet. Here's the armature goes with it. I like that smell. Burnt smell like a submarine, smell. like I said. It's a burnt armature smell. So here's our kicker cover after I cleaned it. I got it on eBay for way too much money. So on, on the auction list, I thought I could see a little bit of a hairline something over here, but you couldn't really tell. But you could not see is all these other cracks until I cleaned the dirt off it. These nice small ones right here. And this one over here, it looks like it might be a crack. I still don't see a crack, but there still might be one there. But you can definitely see these ones over here. So to fix this, you got to basically break that chunk off, grind it out, and weld it up solid, and then repunch the hole. A lot of work. So overpaying for parts again. But the plus was I got a nice finger in here, which is hardly anywhere on it, and I got a nice parkerized shaft I really like. So that gave me a nice, good, restored look when I'm done with it. But it is frozen right now, so I gotta get it freed up. So I put some squirtum on there, we'll let it sit overnight and see if I can get it open tomorrow without hurting it. Okay, nice. And we got our armature done. Sounds like the oven in there is almost done. Okay. You think your parts are done cooking in back? Well, we got the springs out, so that's good. Yeah, so now we got the, got this all cleaned up. So this is our blast pile. The horn, all that stuff cleaned up. All right, let's go see what we got in our uh, oven back there. Do you think it's nice and toasty in there? Well, we'll find out. So 6.33. Fifty 
58, the fork. Covers 590. Let's stick that right there. Cook that darn cover and see what it looks like in a couple minutes. We'll let that run until it shuts off. It shuts off about 650, I think, for a head set up. Okay. So that's just ready to go take out and let it cool off and go, go blast it. Okay. So we'll let that sit overnight probably. Okay, sounds good. We're good. Yet? Yep. So we're uh, doing a generator mock up here. Basically, I'm just tightening the stuff up on this bike to see if we're waiting for me to work on it. This is a 43 WL. Yeah, WL, yeah. Kind of so it would have been a civilian model in 1943, yeah. which you thought would have been pretty rare. It would be rare because it would only be for uh, police or uh, a doctor or someone that was on the AA, AAA, I need it now priority list. Okay, so I tighten this up. This nut here, I think, is starting to strip. There it goes. Oh yeah. It wasn't getting tighter. So that's so that rod is junk. Yeah. This one here, someone's got a coarse bolt welded to it, so I know that crotch is no good. <laughs> so those need to be replaced. But anyway, the, the rocker clutch is on here. The biggest thing is we're looking at right now. See the clearance to our generator on our two brush. We have very limited clearance. So I want to get an idea how long the generator we can put in this bike. And it looks like we're um, it's about seven inches into that nut hard. And I think this generator here was more than seven inches wide. Scooby got trapped. Look at that. That VL was attacking that dog. Yeah, that VL attacked it, didn't it? So we now have this generator right here with the regular on it. And we are at seven and uh, about seven and five eighths inches. So will it fit? It'll fit fine if you don't use this rocker for it. Oh, what will we do instead? Right now, seven and five eighths is the edge of this cover right here. So yeah. we're, we're not even talking about all this crap back yeah, here. Yeah, so it will not fit. It won't so work. So there's no way we're going to be able to use the regulator style two brush generator. Now this is a regular two brush generator here, and even that is, it's hitting on it right now. Now you could probably bend this bracket, because it looks like it's probably bent a little bit in the back here. Right. So this thing might actually be bent in quite a bit. Yeah, it actually looks like it is quite in quite a bit too. See how this is going at an angle like yeah, that, instead sure. of being straight? Sure. So my guess is this is probably bent a long ways here. So this is not a very good mock-up to determine if we got room for all this or not. Because this thing's all bent. Now if we take this here, loosen this up right here, and let the back end just slide out a little bit. You're still not going to gain that much though. You don't know. Well, we're tightening here, so that should spring back to where it wants to sit coming off of that. Some kind of an idea what it's going to be at. You didn't get much. We didn't get any much, that's for sure. It looks straight now, actually, but... The problem is this is still my way off, but I don't know. If these parts here he's got on here are correct either, so obviously that's going to be kind of a problem. Now if we just say that this is supposed to be straight, that looks like it's coming straight back now. So now we have room for that one, but we don't got no seven and a half inches yet. It looks like a regular two brush generator will fit in here, but not a not one with a regulator on it. Yeah, we have basically seven inches, so we're still going to be a five eighths of an inch short. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. So that's going to narrow down your decision on what you're going to do on your bike. Because well, then I got to go the right way. You're going to have to run an external regulator no matter what you do because we just don't have any room. You only have room to put a cover on this thing. Right. We're right against that generator snow. Right. So. Well, I keep trying to tell you kids, go the right way instead of the quick fix. 
That seems to work okay. You didn't have adequate tension. Yeah, I can see. Being a suicide. All right, so we know for a fact that there's no way this will fit on a 45, this generator. So that All right. just gives you more ideas and what you're going to have to do. Okay, well, good. That's good to know. The wheels on this bike are nice. Nowhere near in our previous videos, though. Well, these are the CAD plated spokes that used to be CAD plated, but now they're, they're ugly. Rooted as hell. But this is how I like them, black with cat. Uh, well, you can have black and cat. I like, uh, you like OD, and OD and stainless, but yeah. look at the fins got that uh, corrosion on them. Yeah, well, the bike's been sitting for a lot of years. Does it run? Beats the hell out of me. And what are we doing to it? Make it into a rider. Oh. How many years are we talking? Uh, this bike has probably been not running for at least 20 years. I mean, and how long is it going to take? It's been through uh, two or three other shops, and they lost all the original parts. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, I've had it here for probably a year now, waiting for me to get time to work on it. But we'll fix it. Yeah, when we get it done, we'll, it'll be done right when we do it. So I got a new reproduction sheet metal for it over there. Oh, wow. It's that V twin replica stuff, so you know it's A1 condition. Yeah. yeah. So about another six months of body work on it, we should be all right. Uh, you folks should see my sheet metal. Yeah, but I don't think he'll do any more body work for me because that was a one-time deal. Yeah, that was a sweet deal. He felt sorry for you. He did. He didn't even know me. Look at that. They look a lot better without these ugly lights. Oh, God. But the customer likes that, so we'll, we'll do what they want. All right. At looking, least he's got a real hard one. Looking good. We're up to 648. Should be clicking off here pretty quick. How's that uh, phone cover looking over there? Uh, we better look. It's looking kind of yeah. It'll yeah butter. It's gonna, it's gonna be yeah, if it's if we need a spatula to get it out of there, Tatro, you're in trouble. I'll be in trouble. It looks like it's still. Uh, it still looks like a horn cover. It still looks like a horn cover. Well, I trust you. Kind of warm in there, though. I can feel the heat. All right, are you going to shut her off, aren't you? Um, yeah, we could do that. It is shut off. There, I shut off all the way. Okay. All right. Well, it'll be a day cooling down. Yeah. We'll, <coughs> we'll let it cool overnight, so everything gets a nice, even cool down, and then we'll uh, we'll blast all that stuff nice and clean, so it looks good, and then we'll figure out how we're going to rebuild it. I'm sure it shouldn't be taking any effort at all to rebuild it, right? It'll be great. We got the man working on it. It's on the floor. Got to square around everything. Thanks, Keenan. All right. That's it for now.